Good morning, everybody. Mm, I did not sleep well at all last night, but we will talk about that later, I'm sure. This is day number three. I'm trying to live on $100 here in Batumi, Georgia, and we have $71 and I think 34-ish cents left. This is our last day in the hostel, so we should probably pack up and uh, go start looking for our next spot. It does look like the clothes that we put up here yesterday are dry now, so that's good. I was worried that they would not get dry in time. Now it looks like we get to do the clothes folding that I put off yesterday. I don't actually fold them so much as I do just like roll them up to be really compressed because I got to get them to fit in my bag really well. This means that our primary objective for today is to find a cheap hostel that we can take a shower in. Here we go. Everything is packed up. Let's go. Apparently it has a door handle now. Oh, not on this side. It still doesn't have a door handle here. Okay, we're leaving. So it's actually too early for us to check into a new hostel. It's 9 a.m. right now, and the earliest you're able to check into these places is like 2 p.m. So we've got about five hours to mosey around with all of our stuff, which means that means we are vulnerable for the next like five-ish hours. Oh my God, everybody in my last video was telling me that I should rate that hostel like a 7.5 or an eight stars out of 10 because it was $5 and they gave me free laundry. But I don't think you guys understand that there's three things that a hostel needs to do. There are three things that a hostel provides travelers. The first of which is a place to be able to store your stuff. Like buy stuff like this, you want to be able to put that in a secure location. They didn't have that. I just leave it on the floor and hope that nobody else stole it. That's not good. The second thing they provide is a shower. You can't take a shower in a McDonald's. So you need to be able to go to your hostel and clean up. That one did not provide it. Like I did not even want to. So being able to store my stuff and showers are both a no-go. It did let me sleep there, but that wasn't even that great. I was thinking I would give this like three stars out of 10, maybe two stars. Oh, hey, I think I found a fresh breakery. Let's get some hot bread. Um, That one right there. What? One, yes ma'am. Okay, yeah. one, okay, so uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, one. This was 33 cents and it is fresh out of the oven. It's like one of those pull apart donuts. Mmm. Oh my, um. oh my God. Mmm. Oh my God, 33 cents. This is insane. Way better than the bread I picked up yesterday from the supermarket. But I did say that you guys get to choose what we rate it. So I will rate that 7.5 stars. I get the feeling that today is gonna to be a really hot day, which means I don't wanna be outside walking around with like an extra 20 pounds of backpack shit. We need to find a coffee shop. Oh, hey, check this out. There's a little water fountain. Ah, eh, never mind, bad idea. So I know you guys are gonna hate it, but I think we're just gonna go to McDonald's for the next hour or two because I know where it is and I know that they'll let me sit there for hours on end. I don't think coffee shop uh, culture is quite as prevalent here. Well, I mean, I think I know where McDonald's is. It's around here somewhere, I think. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. And this technically does not violate rule number three because this is a different building. This is not the same exact McDonald's. Wait, oh, here again. Look at this, it's com almost completely empty. I've got a whole booth to myself. We've got an outlet. This is fantastic. We are going to go order something though because we are decent customers. Um, we've got burrito. Oh, coffee, toast with bacon. Yes. We want that. Um, and a cappuccino. Oh, this is good. I am amazed at how cheap this was. Once the food gets here, I'll show you. I have to be kind of careful about filming in here because they've got music playing on the speakers up there and I don't want to get this like demonetized and have to deal with all of that. So we're going to keep these clips short. Check it out, this was $1.82. This is like a little biscuit thing full of cheese and bacon, and we got our coffee, $1.82. McDonald's here is so much cheaper than McDonald's in America. You'd probably think that's true, but it's crazy to see that. Okay, so there's actually some like real sticky stuff on the ground here, and I just noticed that my feet are sticking to the floor. So we are gonna change tables to go over there. Here we go. The hostel I'm looking at right now costs $6.91 a night, and honestly, it looks pretty, looks pretty decent. Yeah, I can do this. I think that we are gonna book this place for two nights. Apparently they only accept cash though, so we need to head to an ATM and get more cash to be able to pay for the two nights. Oh, but one more little uh, tidbit here. The first hostel that we were at, the one that scammed us, it's not even listed anymore. You can't even book it anymore. Um, that's good. I guess my complaint might've worked. I sent an email to Hostel World letting them know that I didn't think that the hostel existed and I wanted my refund. It looks like they took it down. So now let's just see if I get my refund. Okay, so check it out. I'm booking the thing right now and you can see that they've got a uh, 
voucher price for me right there for $2.18. So apparently, rather than giving me an actual refund for this, they're just giving me store credit. For all intents and purposes, it's technically the same, but I still feel like if I paid for it and it wasn't there, they should give me a real refund. But we booked it so that it's $6.91 gone. $6.91 out. Before we actually go there and check in, I'm gonna use their bathrooms. I'm not sure where they are though. Let's go upstairs, I guess. They actually don't have a public bathroom, which is disappointing because I was really, really happy with this McDonald's at first. Okay, we are gonna head to the hostel. I'm sure we'll find an ATM machine on the way. That's gotta be, there's gotta be an ATM on the way there. Ugh, it is so hot outside. You know, women are really lucky. On days like this, you guys gotta wear sundresses. It's not like I'm actually talking to any women because like 8% of my viewers are female, but women are lucky. It turns out the hostel is farther away from the McDonald's than I thought it was. We've got a bit of walking left to do. Okay, we found ourselves an ATM machine. It looks like they take NFC. I wanna see if I can use my phone to pay for this because I don't want to go digging my card out of my bag right now. Oh, hey, look at that, it does work. Okay, like I thought it was gonna do it. It's not, didn't give me a receipt, didn't give me cash, nothing. Oh, I just uh, just checked my phone. Yeah, apparently I can't do a NFC withdrawal like that. All of that work just to turn around and have to use the regular card. There we go. Gotta have our dose of daily dog. Hi, puppy. Goodbye. I think our hostel is over here somewhere, but again, these places aren't very keen on having signs. I don't see any signs. But it is so hot outside, I will get a drink from one of these water fountains here. God, I am burning up. I assume this water is safe to drink. I swear to God, if anybody from Batumi is watching this video, put a fucking sign in front of your building. Jesus. It's literally just not even here. I followed Google Maps to the fucking T. I came back around back and look at that, I found a sign. That is their, that is their idea of what a sign is. Jesus fucking Christ. This doesn't look sketchy at all. This is $7 a night, remember that. How high up is this? Looks like we're getting to the tile. Oh my God, what am I getting into? Where is this motherfucking place? This is their sign. Yeah, of course. Ah, uh, this one works. Let's go find the restrooms. Oh, this place does offer laundry services for like a dollar or 75. So. Um, bathroom, where? Okay. Um, I would say this is a little bit better than the one that we were before. Like it's actually, okay. Yeah, I can take a shower here. Good. <sighs> Remember this place costs $6.91 per night, so. I'm pretty sure this is just somebody's apartment that they converted into a hostel. We are on like the eighth floor, so that means anytime I want to go down to get food or get drinks, I need to go down eight flights of steps and I need to go up eight flights of steps. So leaving and coming back is like a whole ordeal now. I didn't sleep well at all last night. There was a dude snoring right across the bed from me and there were lots of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are a thing here, but there's a lot of people in this room. There's like eight people in this room. So I imagine I'm not going to get a lot of sleep tonight either. Here's my idea. I'm going to sleep now. And that way I can be up at night when they're snoring. 
I will talk to you guys when I wake up. Hopefully it will be cooler outside. Oh wow. I napped for like three hours. So it's been about three hours since I've been here. I'm starving. I think I'm dehydrated too. My lips are a little bit cracked. Let's go get some stuff. I'm reading more of the comments from the last video and apparently you guys just really think that that last hostel was great. Like, you guys have much lower standards for what makes a good hostel than I do. Back down the stairs we go. Let's go find a place to eat. Oh look, there's Wendy's. I don't want to go to Wendy's though. Though, honestly, a bacon editor sounds really good. We are gonna go to the just gener generic supermarket and get some like bread or something. As supermarkets go, this one's kind of lively. This is just a generic care for the place that makes warm bread. Candy shop, you guys know the drill. Can I try these ones? Yes. Mm -hmm. It looks like our sour food is gonna be about $2. Oh my, mm. Oh wow, these are fantastic. Woo. Oh, check this out though. It looks like we can get a full ham and cheese sandwich for less than a dollar. Can I get two of those? Yep, two, perfect, yep. Are oh, fantastic, thank you so much. Come with me, yes. Look at that, two dollars. Because of rule number three, we can't actually come here again, but I just wanna show you guys this. You can get rolls for like, I think that's 12 cents. 12 cents for some rolls. You can get some like pies, big ol', oh my god. Maybe we should just like load up on food while we're here. I'm a little bit shocked. We got our food, but this store doesn't seem to sell Coke. It seems to be a Pepsi only shop. But the Pepsis are cheaper than the Cokes, so I guess it's not a bad deal. This was a super cool experience. Let's go check out. There's really long lines. Oh, this one seems like a short line. Our two sandwiches and our drink were $2.32. $2.32 for this. I'm not technically a Wendy's customer, but I'm gonna use their seating anyway. Look at this, look at this. This was less than a dollar. On the receipt, they call it a hamburger. Um, it's not, but it's still really cheap. Mmm. It's got bacon and tomatoes and lettuce. Oh my God, cucumbers, holy shit. I think I might be revoking rule number three. This is the best ham and cheese sandwich I think I've had in a year. Holy shit. It's not ham and cheese, it's got bacon. So it's like a BLT. It's like a BLT sandwich. I'm gonna walk around this part of town a little bit while I finish off my little sour gummy worm things. You know what? No, I wanna go to the beach. I think I'm gonna sit on this little hill right here and just watch the ocean. It's getting too dark to be able to film. Holy shit. Those lights that you see up there, that is a crane that is trying to build that building and it is getting blown around in the wind. I don't think cranes are supposed to do that. Holy shit. I didn't check the weather, but I think there might be like a storm coming. Maybe. We are gonna check back on that tomorrow. See if it's still there. I am many miles away from the hostel. This wouldn't be so bad if there wasn't dust flying in my eyes. It's like a ghost town over here now. It looks like the trees have started falling over too. Finally made it back. Now we just need to climb up to that like six story to get back to the hostel. Like look at this, if you checked into this late at night and you did not know where you were going, having to walk into this thing would be fucking terrifying not knowing if this is the place you're supposed to be and you're walking into this little... Oh my God. What a bad location. Like, this looks like something out of Resident Evil. And there is absolutely no light in here at all. It is pitch black without my flash. Oh 
holy shit, I would hate to be somebody that did not check in earlier in the day. Take our shoes off the front of the door here, apparently. That is the end of day number three. We have $61 and like 14 cents left. Um, you guys know the drill. Click this one to see tomorrow's video.